Hello, I'm Bernard Norcott Mahaney. I work at the Blueford branch of the Kansas City Public Library. April is National Poetry Month, and every day in April I try to read aloud some poetry. Uh, I do it throughout the year anyways. Whenever I'm reading poetry, I try to read it aloud. Uh, but in celebration of National Poetry Month, uh, I read stuff aloud. This April I am reading Shakespeare speeches and uh, soliloquies. Um, and today's is one of the most famous uh, of the uh, speeches in Shakespeare. Uh, it's a speech by John of Gaunt, the Duke of Lancaster, uh, in the play Richard II. Richard the king is uh, a weak king. Um, he's ba badly advised by uh, uh, advisors who are basically only interested in enriching themselves and not, in fact, ruling properly. Uh, and he has... Um, banished uh, Henry Bolingbroke, John of Gaunt's son. Um, there had been an argument between Bolingbroke and another lord, and rather than really sort of determine who was guilty, um, he banished both men. Uh, so this is sort of an injustice uh, perpetrated by Richard. Uh, John of Gaunt, uh, who's an old man, um, here delivers this beautiful speech about England and uh, how special England is. He, he actually calls it, uh, he compares it to the Garden of Eden. Um, unfortunately, Richard is not the king to really rule England well. So this is John of Gaunt's speech from Richard II. Methinks I am a prophet, new inspired, and thus expiring do foretell of him. His rash, fierce blaze of riot cannot last, for violent fires soon burn out themselves. Small showers last long, but sudden storms are short. He tires betimes that spurs too fast betimes. With eager feeding food doth choke the feeder. Light vanity, insatiate cormorant, consuming means soon preys upon itself. This royal throne of kings, this sceptered isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars, this other Eden, demi-paradise, this fortress built by nature for herself against infection and the hand of war, this happy breed of men, this little world, this precious stone set in the silver sea, which serves it in the office of a wall, or as a moat defensive to a house against the envy of less happier lands, this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England. This nurse, this teeming womb of royal kings, feared by their breed and famous by their birth, renowned for their deeds as far from home, for Christian service and true chivalry, as in the sepulcher in stubborn Jewry, of all the world, of the world's ransom, blessed Mary's son, the land of such dear souls, this dear, dear land, dear for her reputation through the world, is now leased out, I die pronouncing it, like to a tenement or pelting farm, England, bound in with a triumphant sea, whose rocky shore beats back the envious siege of watery Neptune, is now bound in with shame, with inky blots and rotten parchment bonds, that England that was wont to conquer others hath made a shameful conquest of itself. Ah, uh, would the scandal vanish with my life, how happy then were my ensuing death. So that's John of Gaunt's speech uh, on the glory of England and the sad state it has come to from Richard II.